Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I am with eWrench.com. This video is about how to back up a Moodle 1.9 course in preparation for reusing it, either for use in a future course or for use in a Moodle 2.0 plus course. For the purposes of this video, I will be using an Ubuntu 10.04 LTS virtual desktop, but the process works basically the same for any computer. Because backing up a course uses a lot of Moodle server memory and CPU, you should try and back up your course at a time when there are fewer users logged into the server. In order to back up a course, you should log into your Moodle site as a course administrator or teacher. Then enter the course you want to back up. So log in. In this instance, we're going to back up this course, Introduction to STEM Q4. Simply enter the course and click on Backup. Now you have two basic choices, to back up the assignments along with the user data or not back up the user data, and you've got some fine settings here that you can make. In this case, I'm going to not back up any user data just the assignment so I can use this as a fresh course uh, in a Moodle 2.0, 2. plus uh, application. So all the user data is not selected. So for users in this course, we're going to go down here and select none, logs, no, user files, no, course files, yes, site files, yes, and grade histories, no. So now we have just a course with nothing else. Backup role assignments, we're going to accept default and then click on continue. Now here we have a warning. Because we have chosen not to back up any user data, the warning exercise and workshop activity appears on our screen. Workshop activities allow for students in a class to see example projects. Students can also upload their projects to workshop activity, view other students' projects, and assess other students' projects. Workshop activities were fairly difficult to set up in Moodle 1.9, but have been completely rewritten for Moodle 2.0. The exercise module is considered a non-standard module, and since Moodle 1.8 was rewritten to be part of the workshop module. So we're basically going to ignore this, this warning. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click continue. Again, we've come to the next page. Tell us what, what's being backed up or what has been backed up. Click continue. Now this is the file that's backed up. When the backup file is completed, simply click on it and download it to your computer. That's what should Firefox do do with this file, we'll simply say save the file, click OK, and this one has downloaded fairly quickly because it's only 39.7 KB. We'll clear the list, verify that it's on our computer in the download section, and there it is. We're going to use this file in a later video and upload it to a two point, uh, Moodle 2.0 plus uh, application. Thank you.